Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math on Lumped Algebra problem. So here we have 9 to the power of 9 minus 8 to the power of 8 and we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. Uh, but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. It means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. So here uh, the very first thing uh, we are going to do is we are going to do is here we need to focus in the basis of these two terms and you see here the base of this term is 9 and we write this 9 into the prime factors form and its prime factors are 3 square and its whole power is 9 minus we write 8 into the prime factors form and its prime factors are 2 cubed and its whole power is 8 and now here in the next step uh, we use here uh, the exponent law uh, we know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law here we need to multiply the exponents of these two terms and we get here this is 2 times of 9 becomes 18 minus here we have this is 2 to the power of 3 times of 8 becomes 24 and now further in the next step uh, here we again break the exponents uh, of these terms as uh, so it will be written as this is 18 so we write it as 2 times of 9 minus this is 24 we write it as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 12 and now here in the next step we again apply uh, the above exponent law and here we move this 9 uh, inside the term and it will be written as 3 to the power of 9 and its whole square minus here again we move this 12 inside the term and it will be written as 2 to the power of 12 and its whole square and now in the next step we apply here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so according to this formula we write our above equation as in this form so this is 3 to the power of 9 minus b and the value of b is 2 to the power of 12. Again we have a plus b so a is 3 to the power of 9 plus b is 2 to the power of 12. And now, and now in the next step we uh, need to find the values of 3 to the power of 9 and 2 to the power of 12. So first we find the value of 3 to the power of 9. So 3 to the power of 9 means that uh, we need to multi uh, uh, we break our 9 as 3 to the power of 4 plus 5 and again uh, we apply the exponent law and we break these exponents as in this form this is 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 5. So here we know that uh, 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81 so we write it as 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 and in order to find the value of 3 to the power of 5 we need to multiply 81 with 3 and it will be written as this is 3 ones are 3 and 3 eights are 24 so we replace these two values on this uh, expression here so that our above expression is implies that this is 3 to the power of 9 equals to uh, this is 3 to the power 4 and we know that 3 to the power 4 equals 81 and 3 to the power of 5 equals 243. So our next claim is to multiply these two uh, bigger numbers and you see here, here I can just use a nice smart method uh, of multiplication and I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Uh, and now here we break uh, this 81 as first we write 243 and we break 81 as 80 plus 1 and now we multiply 243 on both of these values and it will be written as 243 multiplied by 80 and plus 243 multiplied by 1. So when we multiply these two values here we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number. When we multiply 0 with any other number we get 0 and when we multiply 8 with this number it is written as 8 3 is a 24 we write 4 and carry 2 8 4 is a 32 32 plus 2 becomes 34 we write 4 and carry 3 8 2 is a 16 16 plus 3 becomes here 19 
and plus 243 times of 1 equals to 243. And now here we add uh, these two values and you see here 0 plus 3 is equals to 3 and 4 plus 4 equals 8, 4 plus 2 equals 6, this is over 9 and 1. So this is the value of 3 to the power of 9. And now here in the next step uh, we need to find the value of uh, 3 to the power of 12. Uh, so, in order to find the value of 3 to the power of 12, uh, we uh, break 12 as 2 to the power of 2 plus 10 and here uh, we uh, just write these terms as in this form. Uh, so, we have this is 2 to the power of 4 into 2, uh, sorry 2 to the power of 2 into 2 to the power of 10. And we know that 2 to the power of 10 equals to 1024 and 2 to the power of 4 is equals to 4. So here we multiply 4 times of 1024 and you see here uh, this is 4 times 4 becomes 16. We write 6 and carry 1. 4 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 0 is 0 and 4 1 is 4. So 2 to the power of 12 is equals to 4096. So uh, here we have this is the second value uh, of the above term so that now our given uh, or our this expression is implies that so that uh, our above expression is copied down here uh, and it is written as 9 to the power of 9 minus 8 to the power of 8 is equals to 3 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 12 into 3 to the power of 9 plus 2 to the power of 12. And now here we put uh, the above uh, both of these values in this expression and after substituting these values uh, this expression is written as first you have 3 to the power of 9 it is uh, 19683 2 to the power of 12 equals to 4096 similarly when we put these two values here it will become 19683 plus 4096 and now here in the next step we need to uh, sum up these two values and uh, uh, here we can just direct add these add or subtract these two values uh, and now here so when we subtract these two values we will get here uh, 15587 you can easily uh, uh, subtract these two values but here when we add uh, these two values then uh, we will get here uh, 23,779. So now here in the final step we need to multiply these two values and uh, in order to multiply these two values we uh, just break over this term and when we write uh, the bigger values here this is 23779 and we break this value as uh, we write it as this is uh, 1 and uh, uh, 4 times of 0 and plus this is 5000 and plus 500 and plus 80 and plus 7. So here we need to multiply uh, this bigger number uh, with each of these values and it will be written as when we multiply this number with this you see here uh, we can just put uh, these four zeros here and it will be written as 2, 3, double, 7, 9 and four zeros and when we multiply this number here you can just copy down these three zeros here and we multiply just five times of this number and you see here five nines are 45 uh, we write five and carry four and five sevens are 35 35 plus four becomes 39 and we write nine and carry three five sevens are 35 35 plus three becomes 38 we write 8 and carry 3 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 3 becomes 18 we write 8 and carry 1 5 to the 10 10 plus 1 becomes here 11 and now here in the next step we multiply this whole number with this 500 and now uh, here we copy down these two zeros here uh, and when we copy down these two zeros here it will be written as uh, 0 0 and 5 multiplied by this number equals to 5 nines are 45 we write 5 and carry 4 5 7 are 35 35 plus 4 becomes 39 we write 9 and carry 3 5 7 are 35 35 plus 3 becomes 38 
and now you see here uh, we already multiply five times of this number and you get here this whole value so we can just copy down this value here and this is uh, 8 and 1 1 okay so in the next step we multiply this number with 80 and when you multiply this time of 80 we first copy down this zero here and in the same pattern uh, we will multiply our uh, 2 3 double 7 9 uh, with the 8 in the same pattern when you multiply 8 times of this number you will uh, just get here 190 and 232 and we can just write this zero here and in the same pattern we multiply uh, this number with 7 and when you multiply it 7 you will get here 166453 so uh, in in the next step uh, we can just uh, sum up all of these uh, values and we get our final destination uh, and now you see here uh, in order to add the addition of the values you see here we have so in the next step we finally add all of these values and you see here 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 is equals to 3 and this 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 equals 2 2 plus 5 becomes 7 and 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 4 becomes 12 we write 2 and carry 1 and so in the next step we have this is 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 9 so we have uh, 0 plus 5 becomes 5 5 plus 9 becomes here 14 uh, 14 plus 2 is 16 uh, 16 plus 6 becomes 22 22 plus 1 becomes 23 we write 3 and carry 2 and here we have this is 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 8 becomes 26 26 plus 0 becomes 26 26 plus 6 becomes 32 32 plus 2 becomes 34 we write 4 and carry 3 uh, and we have this is 7 plus 8 becomes 15 15 plus 8 becomes 23 23 plus 9 uh, becomes here 32 uh, 32 plus 1 is 33 33 plus this 3 is equals to 36 we write 6 and carry again 3 so that here you see this is 7 7 plus 8 becomes 15 15 plus 1 becomes here 16 16 plus 1 is 17 17 plus this 3 carry becomes 20 we write 0 and carry 2 and we have this is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus this 1 is 5 uh, and uh, we have this is 5 5 plus 2 becomes 7 uh, and at the last we have this is 2 and 2 plus 1 becomes here 3 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos